In this video, I'm going to show you how you can access Microsoft Teams using your phone device. There are a couple of issues that we have to overcome. First things first, if I was to log in just a normal way using the Glow web browser, there are an issue with the the Teams tile. Now, if I click on Microsoft Teams, so again, when I log in via the phone, the kind of browser part, you can see there's a number of different tiles. So if I click on Microsoft Teams, you'll probably find that it is unable to do this. Now obviously I'm working from an iPhone, Androids might be slightly different, but with certainly with an iPhone, it actually asked me that I need to download Microsoft Teams app. So therefore I cannot access Microsoft Teams just using the browser part. So I will have to download and use the Teams application. So for demonstration purposes, I have already downloaded the Teams app. So when I click into Teams, I need to sign in using my Glow ID followed by the email part. Because it's a Microsoft product, we have to make sure that we use the school email address to tie all our information back in. So when I go to sign in, I've already kind of got a couple of accounts set up that are maybe blurred out. So I'm going to create as if I sign in brand new. So the dummy account for us is a St. Ninian's High School pupil. Now, this is the important part. So this is where you'd put your Glow ID, so ED016, etc. Followed by at glow.sch.uk. So that is your login you have to use when you're using the application. Click sign in and it will take you to the, the, the kind of web browser part. Now this is just to double authenticate that you're part of the kind of system. So I'm just going to put in our password. Sign in. And it takes me straight up once it kind of pulls down all the information. So it's telling me that it's going straight to my feed. So you might have a couple other kind of steps, just accepting, you know, access to microphone, access to photos, eh, and other parts of things. Because I've used this app a couple of times, it's, it's just kind of bypass this. So for now, it's taking me straight into my feed. So I know here that there's assignments have been mentioned in a Microsoft Team 2. Eh, there's been other things added into. So the key thing really we have to look at is this Teams part. So you'll find maybe you've got an English class, maybe a math class, maybe a science class, etc. And it's all about just getting introduced to how to use the app and get notified of when things are actually happening. So as you can see, if I hit into this intro to MS Teams 1, I'll hit general. Now general is just the kind of term, the first kind of page, the splash page. So I can see that I've created a couple of kind of posts already and I can reply to them. So when I hit reply, you'll see there's been a couple exercises here saying thanks again, hello again, hi there, hello. I could type it now if I wanted, I could add a file using the paperclip, I could put an at and uh, mention somebody so they're fed into this kind of post and I could import pictures. Now it's a good idea if you want, you could take a picture of your work and upload it into your post if needs be or even just uh, acknowledge that you've accepted parts. So I'm just going to put hello and then post it. Now another good way of letting your teacher know uh, you have read of any information, it's just going up to three dots when something's been said and just giving a wee thumbs up or some other kind of emotion to let us know that that has been read and it's a good way to kind of track that you're reading and taking part. So that's that's the kind of interacting with the kind of post. Now again, within Teams on the PC, on the kind of desktop part, you have files and within the files you might find other parts. Now I know another Teams, uh, Microsoft Teams 2 uh, team that was created, there are files, I'll maybe show you that in two seconds. So intro to Microsoft Teams general, Mr Hughes already kind of put a couple of things up just to kind of demonstrate the other part. So again if I hit files, you'll see that there's different PowerPoints and Microsoft Word, so you can get access to that. I'll click back. Now, what you maybe have to do is you have to enable your notifications in the application just to make sure that you're kind of getting fed information and you're getting kept informed. You wouldn't want to miss out and maybe a class has up uploaded something. 
<coughs> so if we go to notifications I'm just going to make sure now again everything is turned on I can disable and enable but I would suggest you keep most things enabled just so you're kept in the loop so I'll just close that another way is actually click into the team in the general and actually clicking this little kind of bell in the top right hand corner and making sure that maybe all new messages in this channel you're notified and I'll do that with my other one so again it's just another way of making sure that you're not missing out on anything and keeping track of what's been asked so again this video was just an introductory to how to set up Microsoft Teams app and kind of making sure you overcome the obstacle of initial setup and how to maybe join a team. Now within meetings, you might be invited to a meetings, it will just appear the exact same and you'll click into a, the meeting at the time and it might pop up asking to enable microphone and enable camera but within that kind of school environment you will not be using the camera, it will only be the microphone. So again if I just click back and I'll just show you those kind of three teams again. Now you might find as time goes on some of these words become bold so general in the top one might be bold another one isn't now that's just an indication to let you know that something is actually happening in that team so your english general might be bold and it might let you know that there's something happening in the english class okay so that again is just a quick overview of teams app